everyone and welcome to St. Anthony's on this Monday of Holy Week. A story a priest one told, once told me, um, he asked uh, a group of children who their favourite character was in the whole story of the death, uh, suffering and resurrection of Christ was. And one child piped up and said, I have my favourite character, I have my favourite character, I really associate with character. And the priest says, so, so, so who is that? The stone, the child says. The stone? Why is that? That's because it's the stone that lets Jesus out of the tomb. That lets the light of Jesus enter the world, the glory of the resurrection. Perhaps as we journey towards Sunday, towards Easter Sunday, when we celebrate the glorious light of the world that reveals himself to the whole of humanity once again, that we can think about the frailties in our own lives, the stoniness in our hearts, that we could maybe turn aside those little pieces of stone and turn them around and really let Jesus out of the tomb this Easter Sunday that comes next week and replace our little stony hearts with the light of Jesus. Let's let Jesus shine, Jesus shine. Amen. It's a daughter who is telling her mother how everything is going wrong. She's failing algebra, her boyfriend broke up with her, and her best friend is moving away. Meanwhile, her mother is baking a cake and asks her daughter if she would like a snack. The daughter says, oh yeah, mom, I love your cake. Here, have some cooking oil, her mother offers. Yuck, says her daughter. How about a couple raw eggs? Oh, that's gross, mom. Would you like some flour then? Or maybe baking soda? Mom, oh, this is disgusting. To which the mother replies, Yes, all those things seem bad all by themselves. But when they are put together in the right way, they make a wonderfully delicious cake. God works the same way. Many times we wonder why He would let us go through such bad and difficult times. But God knows that when He puts these things all in His order, they always work for good. We just have to trust Him, and eventually, they will all make something wonderful.